Hello, this is Markus from Ploitec. We would like to show you how we did the demo song for the speech firmware update. In the PL squared, starting with version 2, we have a drum mode, and the drum mode splits the keyboard into a bass drum section on the left side and a noise section on the right side. So we have a bass drum, you can actually tune, I can even play melodies according to the keyboard and on the other side you have this noise section so several different parameters so if you hear the bass drum you can change the attack so if you look on original drum computers like in 909 the bass drum it does is not only the tone going downwards which is actually what you hear but it's also a noise component you can add the noise component and the bass drum and that's what I like to do for doing bass drums and we have an example here so here you can see the bass drum and the noise part and if we run it together you have the bass drum plus the noise so after we did the bass drum we did a down mix so you can hear the bass drum using the noise Part, I also recorded some hi-hat like sounds, some more percussion effects. If you hear that all together it adds up nicely to give the song a good fundament. So far everything we did was using firmware version 2 and for the speech we switch over to the speech firmware and we have different modes. We can go very fast now and all you do is you click on update firmware and there it is completed. So now we are in speech firmware we can play the allophones and also we have some consonants and I use these to build a little percussion. So here you can hear the percussion we did from the allophones of the speech firmware. Now I can bring in the bass drum and our extra noise sounds. So next we do a very simple bass line and what we do through the whole song is we change the allophones. And again, I can play this with different allophones. I get this. So if you try to understand what it says in the demo song, actually it's by accident. It's just like how the notes are assigned to the allophones. So I can't tell you what it says. So in order to edit speech, you can use the note editor. So this will be Ploitech by using the resonance parameter you can change the tempo and if you speed it up you get what you hear in the song Before we go into the speech programming, basically the speech firmware for the PL squared has four different modes. On the first one, you have all the allophones, and those allophones are even buffered if you fire them quickly. There's the second mode, which always re-triggers. No buffering, and you can change the note on those modes by using the mod wheel. And uh, of course you can always use the pitch wheel. Then there's uh, two more modes which exchange it. So the allophone is selected on the modulation wheel, while we can play here as you used on the PL squared. And let's do a phonic. Program number three, it only retriggers when you change the allophone. And on 
number four it always re triggers. And again. You can change it here. And here's another neat feature that is also in firmware version 2 that we have polyphonic aftertouch. And can change the note later by pressing the key. If you happen to have a keyboard that can do this and for those of you who know the DX1 of course normally it doesn't send the polyphonic aftertouch of a MIDI but we modified it a little bit so it can do it On the Ploitech website you find the release notes for the speech firmware with an article on how to create speech with this with examples and a list of which node on the keyboard equals which allophone. There's also a software for Windows that allows you to translate speech into allophones but it takes you to use what we call the original mode and you need to translate the hexadecimal numbers into decimal numbers for this. Thank you for watching this uh, video about the speech firmware update and how we put it together. So.